Welcome back, mommies, to episode six of Muscle Mommies. This is Nona. This is Adev, and we're happy to have you back. Yes, I hope your day is going well or your night is going well. Depends on what time you're listening to and what area you're at. And I'm sending you all positive vibes. We hope you have an amazing start to your week because this is our Monday's episode. Uh, If you guys didn't know, we drop every Monday. So if you want like a good start to your week, 11 a.m. every Monday PST, you can always tune in and watch or listen to our newest episode or watch on YouTube. (laughs) Yes. And we love all your feedback. Send them our way, good or bad. We love we love them all. Yeah. Well, we always love to like take input from what you guys say and and use it in our next episode. So it's literally perfect. Literally. Okay. So one thing that I want to talk about. Well, I've been like literally thinking about posting on my like Insta stories for a while now, and I think I'm gonna do it. But it's about my insecurity. I feel like people just like see the image and they're like, ah, her life's perfect. Like she, she probably has nothing to worry about and stuff like that. Right. But like we all deal with our own insecurities in different ways. Like my biggest insecurity for like my entire life really has always been my legs. Like I literally don't like my legs at all. I feel like they're just like, I have like really sensitive skin on my legs, you know? So it's like, I always have like really bad bruises and like, cuts and like gashes and like dry spots which like literally bleed and stuff like that so i always thought like my legs were ugly never liked them and also it's like very it's been very hard for me to grow my legs it's like the one part of my body that just it takes like the longest time hardest time to like grow so but the thing is like you can't let your insecurities like define you you know yeah how about you do you have like any uh i do definitely so mine is like the opposite body part which is so funny mine is like my upper body and my shoulders i think i have really crappy shoulder genetics like i think that my shoulders are strong but just like you're saying you're it's hard for you to build your legs i'm sure your legs are strong right like my shoulders are strong but they just do not shape or form they just sit there and i hate the way that it looks um and it 100 percent my biggest insecurity and you know what my theory is about this by the way like hear me out So I've always told people like second person and I'm now realizing to take this advice to myself. But if you hide your insecurity, the more you hide it, the more it becomes an insecurity. So you have to sort of, for example, for people who I remember talking to my friends who um, like wear glasses and they would be like, I get so insecure when I take off my glasses because people only see me with glasses or vice versa. People would be like, I always wear contacts, so I get so embarrassed to wear glasses uh, because people have never seen me in glasses. I go, that's true. It always looks odd to people because you have forced them to see you without that for so long because it's an insecurity of yours. If you just send it, the first time people see it, it's not going to look bad. It's going to look unusual, but that's because you've hidden that side. And I feel like the more you hide it, the more even to your own eyes, it looks weird. Does that make sense? And for me, I always wear long sleeves at the gym. You never wear shorts (laughs) at the gym. Why are we like the opposite? It's like yin and yang. Yin and yang, (laughs) yeah. So, and I think that concept works for yourself. Like, I am always wearing long sleeves at the gym. So then every time I want to put on a sports bra, I put it on. And besides the fact that sometimes I get a little uncomfortable wearing a sports bra, I'm like, oh, maybe I should wear more. I put on I put on a sports bra. I'm like, ew, I hate the way my arms look, my shoulders specifically. And I'm like, and I like, it's funny because I bring it to myself. Like if I had just not always covered it up, my eye wouldn't perceive it as it looks bad. You know, like I think you get harsher on yourself when you hide it because then when you see it, in in a certain article of clothing you've you've been avoiding for a really long time you're like oh i don't like the way that it looks but i promise if you wore it more your eyes would grow accustomed to it just like everyone else's would and it would look normal because it is normal exactly and the thing is like our insecurities like it's just us in our own like heads you know like like i've seen nona in a dude i've seen nona in a bikini and i dude if she told me in that moment that her legs were her biggest insecurity i would have been so confused you get what i'm saying like i would never recognize it so of course we're our hardest critics exactly exactly and i've seen you in a bikini and like without like you covering it up and i think you have really nice arms yeah see (laughs) so so funny so it's literally just we're our own exactly critics you know like we're so hard on ourselves when like in reality like we're perfect just how we are and you should never ever let your insecurity define you you know yeah it's a minor thing you gotta remind yourself like it's just me versus me in my head yeah no one else is like thinking that way no one else is looking at me and saying oh her legs you know 
no one really ever cares. Like, like that's not anything that passes someone's mind or they like pay attention to you know yeah so it's just like do you and if you're insecure about it like kind of like I don't know. I'm not going to say force yourself to like challenge it, challenge it. You know, Mm -hmm. like for me, like I'm going to start wearing shorts to the gym. I don't care anymore. You know, like I'm going to be like owning it because what what am I going to hide? Like it's 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 what it is. And I can't let it stop me from wearing what I want to wear, you know? Yeah. And you know what's interesting? Like, specifically for your case, right? Because you talk about how you have dry uh, like gashes and stuff. I think there's such a high expectation for women to have perfect skin. For what, though? Like, skin is fucking skin. Like, you're supposed to have bruises. You're supposed to have... Like, our skin is protecting us. And you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to... The season's going to change and your skin's going to dry up. Like, I think since we're girls, um, th- at least that's how I felt. Sometimes I just feel like imperfection, we don't even accept it on ourselves as much as we should. Like, a guy, guys walk around with shins busted up and they're just wearing their short shorts. And we think they look good because they do. Like, we accept the fact that skin is skin and imperfections on it are okay. Uh, but sometimes it's hard for us to expect it on our s- accept it on ourselves just because that's the some kind of standard we've created for women. So it's cool when, y- when you come out of that and then you start to realize, I'm not even out of it, by the way, because when I have skin from imperfections, I'm like, oh my God, I have to cover up. It's the same thing. But when I reflect, I'm like, it's skin. Like, who cares at that point? 100%. Yeah. Okay, and also, like, I recently have been spending, like, a lot of my time on social media just like scrolling you know stuff like that and that that's like i don't know it's not like something that i usually do a lot you know really yeah i don't like i, I don't you like make an active effort to not to or you just don't you really i just like don't like going, going mm-hmm. on it you know but um i've been on it a lot and i've noticed which is crazy i've noticed how insecure i've gotten like i have like changed like in a bad way Wait, in a bad way I, and, and i'm just like i realized i was like this isn't me this isn't nona like and then i was like okay why is it why is this but maybe because my screen time is like up like hella since like the past like month or so you know yeah. and then i was like this isn't good so like i've literally like i don't go i like limit my screen time to like 30 minutes a day on all platforms yeah yeah and i don't go on my phone at all in the mornings like n- like if i do it's just to post something and i'm out you know and i was like damn like that's i've never like people would say like oh like social media sets unrealistic standards like makes people insecure and i was like man like get out Not of here me, yeah, you know i was you. like you guys are weak <laughs> but then like i was like wait no now i'm like getting affected by it and i was like that's so interesting because i've never would have guessed yeah and it's because people's like lives are perfect online people talk about it all the time yeah. like so you're just constantly squ- scrolling through perfection but that's why to some degree i like tiktok there's a level of realism in tiktok that other platforms haven't really had before so but obviously your for you page is random like i can't s- help what comes up on my for you page <coughs> but there's a ton of people on tiktok who are so real like will show all the ugly in their life you know and, and and it makes you feel more normal versus like if i like the days that i would scroll through instagram religiously oh my god same concept like you just forget that humans are human like you look at someone behind a screen and you're like damn they're perfect like and you start to sort of look like down on yourself but it's crazy because like think about it like for us would you think that someone would look at you and think that you have an insecurity about your legs no no so they're probably looking at you and if their screen time screen time went up because they're watching you they're they're also sitting there thinking damn like she probably has no worries and i have to be here worried about the way that my legs look or my arms look but surprise like you know all the people it's such a it's such a twisted concept it's like you get insecure by people who are also insecure right exactly it happened to me like especially on instagram though tiktok is a little bit less for me i feel like tiktok is a funnier place yeah but instagram and i don't know every other social media platform really gets to me as well like if i spend a lot of time on it yeah exactly that's crazy like that's why i'm i'm rarely on it anymore i just post yeah. my thing and i'm like peace out you know that's uh, interesting it's just like really crazy and you know what it comes down to never like i d- i think like this is kind of on topic and off topic at the same time but never compare yourself to anybody your your life is your life for a reason you know the universe gave you this life because the universe knew that you could handle this life i see like on social media a lot of the times like this is like hypothetical like uh you know hypothetical question it's just an example um 
like people are like oh my god kylie jenner has the most perfect life like i bet like i bet she has no worries like her life is perfect what does she have to complain about and then i'm just like nobody's life is perfect everyone has their own struggles her life is her life and her life was meant for her because she could handle it like i'm pretty sure if like an average person like was in her place like they'd lose their mind imagine like the whole world like literally criticizing criticizing every single move that you do you have no privacy whatsoever anywhere you go you can't be normal because everyone's eyes are on you you know how stressful that is like man props to them props to them because that's a crazy life to have you know and that's that also comes down to never ever ever compare yourself your life is your life for a reason you know right i agree and to like talk about what you were saying there's a lot of people who will say that about celebrities (coughs) and they will say like oh they sort of have like a really easy life and they don't really have much to think about and they say like oh i would sacrifice let's say money for the hate and the the stress that they live through between like with like paparazzi following them and all these other situations and i always like to tell people like in like a lot of people Everyone, I feel like, carries some kind of trauma. There's people in this world who just live without trauma, maybe, but they're, like, literally one in a trillion, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, Everyone else lives with trauma, and a lot of people's trauma comes from the way that they were treated when they were younger. So I like to remind people, dude, like, you are living with trauma because of maybe the negative way people treated you in middle school or in high school, and you think hearing millions of hate comments a day wouldn't affect you. Like, Like, everyone has trauma from the one or two comments. Or maybe five or ten comments, even 20 comments that they heard when they were younger, 20 mistreated moments that they had when they were younger, and it carries on with them for the rest of their life. But they go, I would trade money for millions of people hating me. I'm like, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Millions of people telling you things would affect you the same way it did when you were younger a million times over. Like, these people need therapy. These people need monitoring like i'm sure there's people on their end that go you're not gonna touch your phone today yeah you know what i mean they're controlled to the max so that they don't lose their minds yeah like constantly reading about people who tell you to harm yourself yeah constantly reading hate imagine and imagine meeting those people in person because that happens sometimes celebrities are walking and someone will literally just be like you're you're a this and that like i'll i'll do this to you like in person that's terrifying like you can read that all the time online but imagine you're just walking out of a store and someone just like i'll do this this." i would be like i'd be traumatized yeah (laughs) the fact that that's normal for them yeah and people be like i'll take it for the money like i wouldn't i wouldn't (laughs) (laughs) i take a nice medium (laughs) like less hate less money but right (laughs) i'm done yeah and it, it literally comes down to never ever compare yourself to people bro never no. and everyone like literally every single person on this planet has their own struggles no one's life is perfect nobody ever, ever. life is hard you know life is really really hard for every single person yeah yeah life is like she's saying life is super hard and it's up to you to not make it that much harder exactly like you ex- like you gotta accept yourself um with with all those little challenges all those little insecurities and just learn that that to come to that realization that like she's saying that everyone is is struggling and everyone is dealing with the same challenges that you are and to not be so tough on yourself for that kind of stuff like you gotta be like okay, I feel this kind of way about myself and just sort of let it go. Like, don't indulge in it. Don't let it consume you. And I'm saying this from from me to me, dude. Like, I'm sitting here in long sleeves every single day because I (laughs) hate the way that my shoulders look. Like, you have to, and you're, same thing with you with the leggings. You know, like, (laughs) we gotta be like, we gotta be like, who cares? Yeah. You know? Literally. Yeah, and and it's baby steps. Like, I feel like in the gym, I'll wear long sleeves, but like, I'll make an effort to like, I have tons of like tank crop tops. You know what I'm saying? And things like that. But like, it, 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 Y- it for me at least like i'm always like i i every time i have those challenging thoughts i also like to think about what i love about my body mm-hmm. you know like and what i'm grateful for, for to have on my body that like a, even an able body in general you know the fact that i i can move and uh, walk and all those things um i'm just like i'm good you know 100 yeah. percent, literally 100 percent. yeah it's it's crazy life is crazy man life is crazy yeah i was gonna say something but it literally flew out of my mind for a second um, I, well, I was gonna talk. This is b- to go off the securities when I was shopping for dresses the other day for my brother's w- wedding. It runs so deep that, like, I literally had this dress. Dress, um, 
it, like okay let's body dysmorphia is like so mm-hmm. real mm-hmm. like i will look at pictures of myself from months ago and i'd be like oh my god i love that physique but i remember when i took that physique that picture i was like i can't post this like this yeah. picture is so bad yeah i was like i look i don't i'm not happy with the way that i look anyway that's crazy it's actually so crazy yeah. because it's not just the word it's you your body literally looks different to you when you look it in the mirror than probably other people when they look yeah. at you like that's trippy literally your eyes are like distorted literally but yeah i went to go dress shopping and i literally did not like any of the dresses that i really saw except for one i was like oh my god i really love this one for on, on the hanger and i put it on and i hated it but every single person around me was like oh my god it looks so good i was like i hate the way my body looks in it like i hated the way my arms looked in it and i immediately was like nope i'm not taking this dress but i was i i could not see still cannot see what they were seeing in that dress like i was like i hate the way my arms look but every single person was like you've lost your like mind like this dress literally looks so perfect on you and i couldn't see it i was like nope i'm not buying it like hated the way my arms looked hated everything about it and i know i know that this is gonna be one of the moments that when i look back on with the pictures of that dress that i have i'm gonna be like i i looked fine did you buy it no no. I mean, I've, I've ordered another dress that mm-hmm. I saw, but not that dress. I literally was like, nope. <laughs> I hated the way that it made me feel when I put it on. And that's a big thing for me, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to send you a dress. You feel good. Of course. It, yeah. yeah. So then it's funny, though, because I know, like, I know that this is one of those moments. Um, because everyone around me was literally like, you're tripping. Like, it looks normal. Like, I can't see what you're saying about it. Because I was talking to my fam- like my sister about, like, oh, I don't like the way my arms look. She's like, you're actually, like, lost your mind. Um, and then I was just like, nope. <laughs> no, I feel that. I 100% feel that. Literally, body just more than 100 like, real. Yeah. Yeah. And you just got to remind yourself that it's just me. Just me. Yeah. You know? I'm pretty sure you looked amazing in that dress, and you look amazing in any dress, oh, bro. Because so you do sweet. have an amazing... You have that Kim K body, Ch- girl. <laughs> Kim K body. <laughs> straight up. You guys, you guys should see her in person. She's even, like, fucking... She's amazing. Amazing. Shut up. 100%. Thank 100%. 100%. Literally. <laughs> Yeah, but I got another dress online, and it looks hopefully absolutely, like, really cute, and I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit different than this one, um, but I sent it, because we have to, it's going to be, like, in February, so it's soon. Oh, sh- damn. Yeah. That's crazy. No, I, I literally, I feel exactly what you said about, like, the body dysmorphia thing. Like, the other day, I was, like, talking to my friend, and I was like, bro, I feel small. Mm-hmm. And I, You were and saying that earlier, that you I feel like you lost some muscle mass. Yeah, yeah. And, and, like, the thing is, like, when I look at, like, pictures, I was, like, bigger. I was a little bit more, like, you know, like, built. And that's, like, on me because, like, my eating has been, like, very, like, not consistent recently. Mm-hmm. And it's honestly because, like, ugh, life right now. like Give it to us. It's just, like, stressful. And, like, when I'm stressed, I just, like, don't, like, I lose appetite, you know? Yeah, me too. I'm not the opposite. Yeah. I don't stress eat. I don't stress eat. Yeah. yeah, I lose appetite, like, really quick. And then I'll, like, forget to eat. And then I'll lose, like, I don't lose weight, though. I just lose hella muscle mass. Like, yeah. just muscle. I become, like, more, like, weak and stuff. But I've been on it. Like, it's been, like, a couple weeks now that I've been, like, eating, forcing myself, you know. That's like, good. getting good. myself into it again. And, yeah. So, yeah. what's going on with life that's stressful? Just life, bro. <laughs> just life. Uh, let it out is the 75 hard going okay i think it's that to be honest <laughs> like yeah i, think, I, I was feel, <laughs> i honestly like i feel like i'm so burnt out bro yeah you wake up early do f- two workouts yeah. like it's no joke it, exactly and yeah. then like with like uploading it onto my app and stuff like it takes a while like you go to the gym you record and like because i record it takes so much longer to like finish my workout just because i have to like, i've been saying i've like, been saying to people bro it's 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 a full-time job, low-key, you know? No, it is, because at the very least, y- least you're going to the gym and recording yeah. um, is, like, four hours total. Yeah, literally, four That's hours That's at the total. very least, and people would have, like, eight-hour workdays. Yeah, mm-hmm. literally. And yeah. then I go home, and it's another, like, three, four hours to, like, edit mm-hmm. it and make it perfect and, like, you know, do your thing. Yeah, the only difference and between what we do and, like, a regular job is, this is what I say, we have the the blessing of choosing when we want those eight hours to be Mm -hmm. does that make sense so like i can choose to 
do like wake up in the morning, spend an hour and a half on my computer and I can choose to then decide to eat for two hours and then go do three hours of something else and then take another break for an hour. That's the only luxury that we have, but it can even be eight, nine, ten hours. Like if you're sitting and editing for three hours, but we just have the luxury of like splitting it up, which is an incredible blessing, but I still think it's the same workload. I mean, I can't vouch as of recently, (laughs) you know what I mean? But when you're like YouTube videos, Twitch, I mean, TikTok, Insta, working out and filming like all of that together like ends up i'm uh, consuming hella 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 it's like it's like you give up the nine to five just to work 24 <laughs> 7 for real for real like i would take breaks just to cook like me cooking my foods was cool but it's also cool because i'm doing what i love yeah exactly. so i'd like sit on my pc i and love it make yeah. food it, it doesn't feel like work though mm-hmm. it doesn't feel like work that's how much i love doing it yeah you know? i absolutely agree yeah I am. like when we sit here and we edit the like podcast videos we're like just having we fun. like giggling <laughs> like li- literally listening to it laughing it takes at like two other. and a half hours though. yeah, yeah. Yeah. literally it's fun bro it is yeah why am i ha- brain fogging a lot today i i've been brain fog. i'm not gonna even lie i've been brain fogging a little bit like but i feel like oh, you've been drinking a lot of water though because of your 75 heart yeah for me i feel like it's a lack of water i usually drink a lot of water but i haven't been lately <clears throat> and when i don't i literally feel like i'm i'm not here like, really i feel like my brain isn't settled like you know how you get headaches when you like don't drink a lot yeah. of water i also get like fogged really yeah that's crazy no but honestly the drinking the water part has been tough on me a little bit i add lemon to my water just to make it taste good or whatever mm, i do that sometimes yeah right and mint for like fruits and stuff i don't do mint but i'll, I'll take the lemon you should, put, you should put mint in it really i've never tried oh my God, yeah get some mint crush that shit in there really it tastes so wait like, like not refreshing. dry fresh mint yeah fresh mint okay and you the herbs you you chop it up and just throw it in or what yeah just like throw it in i just like yeah okay squeeze it or something wait what just mint so like it has juice a little bit wait like i've just never just done like it oily I'm you wait, know really? yeah it, it's a little water okay but i'm gonna send it yes yeah, send it. it it just tastes so much more refreshing i love mint i really do like i eat that like bro yeah i've never had mint like that what you no. need to it's really good for your gut really you yeah. know what i heard is really good for your gut that i want to start having and it, it's also high in protein so hear me out gym rats it's just chicken broth oh yeah yes yeah, and, and, it, and I can imagine too. that tasting good because yeah. it probably just tastes like soup because you put chicken broth in your soup, so you yeah. just heat it up and you just drink it, and it'll have oh, like 10 grams of protein. Oh, drinking it, like how yeah. it is? Yeah, yeah, so people put it like in oh. the microwave, and maybe they'll add like lemon, I don't know, hot sauce, let's say if you wanted to, and then they'll just drink it. Oh. And it's 10 grams of protein, uh, like per cup maybe. Uh, don't quote me for this. I actually don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, I can imagine it tasting good. And I heard it's so good for your gut. It's really good. I know it's. I mean, it, it's really good for you overall, just because it has a lot of like nutrients and stuff. Yeah. I I get my chicken broth from Trader Joe's, and yeah. it has a little flavoring into it. I think they add like garlic and stuff like that to it. I recommend it. It's really good. See that the girl that I was I watched on TikTok talk about it <coughs> was talking about a Trader Joe's. The one in the I'm little bath. <laughs> was talking about a Trader Joe's uh, yeah. chicken broth. What's it called? I it, mean, if it, you can send me it's, it. I'll send. I'll take a picture. I'll send it to you, but. I, like, I've never had it alone. So, like, when you, like, told me, I was, like, kind of in shock because I was, like, oh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. I usually, like, That's kind of crazy. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. I, <laughs> I really like lentils. Like, I love I lentils. Love, and I get mine from Trader Joe's. You know the... It's no, made. I don't know the ones from Trader Joe's. Yeah, I'm it's already made. Wait, for real? Yeah, you just like pop in the microwave? Pop in the microwave and eat it. But what I like to do is that I, when it's kind of cold outside, like, I'll put my lentils in my pot. I'll add a little bit of water little bit of, like half and mm, yeah half and half water and like um chicken broth and then a little bit of turmeric my mom laughed at me when she said i put turmeric in my soup is that like normal i, I don't know like if that that's might normal. Be normal right she was like why are you putting turmeric in your soup i was like because it's beneficial <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, are you not supposed to <laughs> i'm like she's yeah. like i put in my mint water <laughs> too <laughs> <laughs> You're like the type to try that, dude. I would. Yeah. You know what? This is kind of off topic, but let me finish that story first. So, I mean, I add like my salt, you know, and then I heat it up and I eat, like eat it, and it's really, really yummy. So you should try it. But other it's stories like lentil like, soup. Yeah. Does it become does it absorb it and it just lentils or it's in a liquid? When you make I mean, it like no, a it's in a liquid. It's okay. like a soup. Soup. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. But another thing is like you know how it's like you said you said that I would try it. I'm crazy with my inventions okay i think i told you this let me hear but like i got roasted by my roommates in college by this and i think i'm gonna take it to the grave but um i (laughs) get i get (laughs) i get i get bread right sourdough i like sourdough bread 
I get it, toast it, I put some peanut butter on it, and then I put eggs on it, and I eat it. Wait, no, that's actually disgusting. She <laughs> told me this. I forgot about it. I think I purposely forgot about this. Like, you know when you sim- hear something traumatic and you wipe but it from your good. memory? it's good. It's good. I cannot see tripping. a world where that's good. You it. It's good, and it's good protein. But how did you discover this? I was like... I used to have a really crazy peanut butter obsession. Mm-hmm. I didn't put peanut butter on anything, so I put it on my eyes. Ew, <laughs> no, not for real. I'm going to be a friend to a friend right now. Like, you have to cut that out. Tell me you don't still do that. I still do. <laughs> Dude, that, oh my God, your egg addiction, your ick went away. Oh, my ick went away, guys. Yeah. I, I don't have an egg ick anymore. I saw it on I her story, and now. that made me so happy. I was so Egg is a staple. It is. It sucks when you start thinking it's gross, yeah. because it happens sometimes. But that's crazy. It was like almost a year. Yeah, you had a long time. Almost a year. And then one day I woke up and was like, I like it now. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. What is going on in my head, man? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I still eat it. That's it's gross. good. Please try one day. Uh, you know what? There's a thing with me, like, in this, this for food. There's this, like, if my my mind thinks it's gross, oh, that's such a challenge. Okay, but. Like, if I see eggs and a, I talk about this sometimes, but like, it almost makes me gag talking about it. When I see eggs. Don't, don't say <laughs> I just recovered from my egg. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Okay, it I took won't. me a year. It took me a year. Okay, okay. I won't. I <laughs> this bitch gonna put me back. Back in You're your gonna relapse. <laughs> I'm gonna relapse. <laughs> you can't do that to me. You guys would just never. Know. I feel like everyone knows what I'm talking about. I don't even have to fucking say it. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. That's why I don't want you to say it. It's about the white part, right? <laughs> <laughs> why am I getting the egg? I'm getting the <laughs> I can't, I can't no. do this. <laughs> I can't. Dude. Honestly, okay, like, l- hold on. I have to get off this topic, or else it's like actually gonna discuss. Oh, change the topic. I wanna talk about. Why is it that food sometimes, like, if you really think what? about I'm it, I'm literally it can not get gonna gross. eat eggs for another <laughs> year. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Fuck so you, are. <laughs> but you did it. You did it to yourself. But you brought <laughs> it up. <laughs> you brought it up. I stopped, and she goes, the right part. <laughs> You finished it. I started. That's literally why I relapsed, bro. (laughs) Now I'm going to go back. You bitch. Why you got to do that to me? Dude. (laughs) Now back to oatmeal again. (laughs) Fuck. Just take out the egg white, dude. Like, just go straight. Yo, (laughs) Yo, I saw someone. Hear me out. I saw someone. I have to pause this real quick. I'm going to do it quickly. Honestly, I formally apologize. Please. She said, please. please. I've been <laughs> waiting for the apology. I've been waiting for it. There's someone I saw on TikTok. This is actually next level. She takes, but I guess it's next level for us because we have this, like, there's a weird, we have something weird with eggs. Like, I don't think it's normal, but she takes just the, <laughs> 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 she, she takes just the yolk. Why, God? And just all spreads these it on the egg like cream cheese, oh, on bread like cream fuck? cheese. But so just bread like and raw? spreaded. I oh know, I'm pretty sure it's like semi cooked, but just spreaded yolk on egg. Oh. I mean, on bread. I can't speak. I want to try that. <laughs> I don't think I can fully relate. A part of me, like, okay, I, you like soft boiled eggs? I love soft boiled eggs. You know what that. Like? I don't like it too hard. Yeah, so we're like the center. So okay, I eat this. I would eat this at home all the time. I don't know if this is like an Armenian thing, but we would soft boil eggs and like you would hold the egg and just peel off the top of the egg shell, which was hard, like the white part, and inside was like soft yolk so you mixed just with white. Slurp it. No, yeah, we would dip bread in it maybe, oh. and like it's so yummy. So I can imagine that just, but it'd be like white mixed with yellow. I can imagine that that bread thing would be good like that. But I have a mental barrier with yolk. Like that's the only version of yolk I can eat. I can't. I literally, I just can't. I can't believe we're on this egg (laughs) topic. Like, bro, fuck you. (laughs) Okay, let's let's go to a chicken topic. No, (laughs) no, these are the two staples in our meals, bro. (laughs) Yeah. Do you feel the same way about chicken as? Yeah, but you know what? But I'm implying. I've never had a like fish egg. I don't like seafood, so yeah. I can't relate. But that's interesting that you never have. Yeah. Is it because there's so many, or do you just usually stick to one? I don't and know. And you still have no ick. Yeah. I I like salmon. I eat salmon a lot. Yeah. But I've never been like ew. Dude, but a part of me wants to convince myself to love shrimp. So I know I'm gonna do it. I feel like I'm capable of doing these things. Like I've done it for tons of things that I don't like that I know is good for me. And mm-hmm. shrimp's macros are too good to miss out on. So I'm definitely gonna. How just do you not? Like, 
have you had shrimp before yeah i've had almost all seafood because my family loves it okay so my dad's always just like you have to try it you're gonna like it you're gonna have to try it so i i try to not let him down so i try it but i've never liked it i've never grown to like it make it into a stir fry i can see how that would taste good because i love stir fry yeah oh my god make it into a stir fry like chop that up and then like you know the macros is so lean lean protein (coughs) tuna too I can't tuna, dude. I cannot do. I love tuna. Can tuna? That's so good. Some good macros, but yeah. stinks, bro. That's okay. Oh, God, That's what I'm bro. saying. It smells like boo boo. Yeah, <laughs> see, I can't eat things that smell like that. Yeah. I feel like that's what it ends up tasting like for me. Oh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I could see. I There's could like a fruit that smells bad. What's the fruit? I can't remember the name. Duran. Duran. It smells Jack like fruit. fart. Duran. That's Duran. Yeah. It smells yeah. like fart. Yeah. I can't do it. You want to hear a story? Of course. Well, I feel like a not a good person, but Wait, what? um, m- my I remember like my brother came. He stayed at my like apartment for like a couple of days because he was like taking like an EMT course like near the university that we were going to, and he stayed at my place. And then I think it was like on my period. I was just really irritated. And like sometimes like when you're when you're with your sibling, like anything your sibling does like pisses you off. Yeah. Is he staying with me? And then he made like tuna. Okay. And I was like, who makes tuna first thing in the morning? Like <laughs> I woke up to fucking stinky house. I'm like I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. And I literally was like, get out of this house right now. I can see how that's so. Yeah, gross, I was though. like, get out. <laughs> Sleep outside. Sleep <laughs> with your tuna. <laughs> with your. F- <laughs> just get him in a bowl of tuna in your hallway <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro i was like bro first thing in the morning like i wanna i wanna smell like the fresh roses yeah oh, got some purified air in here <laughs> <laughs> i wake up to fucking stinky socks bro so do you do, do can, can tuna or like how else do you make tuna honestly can tuna is the only way that i know how to make tuna. okay yeah unless there's any other ways to make tuna like fresh fish maybe but like yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like canned tuna. But again, like... Have you tried man. canned chicken? No. I haven't, but I just almost, like, I was hoping you had to, like, get some insight. That just seems so convenient. That seems so I easy. D- I don't know why, but I'd be sussed. Yeah, I think chicken is, like, where sometimes where you draw a line. Yeah. Especially if it comes, like... But who knows? Uh, Imagine it's easy. But again, I, like... Ch- well, mm. tuna's probably easy to cook, too. I've never tried. So you don't even heat it up. You just open the can and no, just I heat it up. Okay, so not I don't. Yeah, on so a stove. On a stove okay. to kill the bacteria, whatever you know. God forbid, you never know what to put in there. Yeah. Yeah, but now I'm determined to like not get canned tuna. <laughs> not get canned. Not get it. <laughs> yeah. Why? Just get like the regular tuna and just oh. chop it up and cook it. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never. I mean, do they? Prob- no, that's a dumb question. No, no. I'm like, what, sell do tuna? they sell a tuna? <laughs> Wait, maybe they, do. they sell salmon, but it's right? Like, I don't know shit about like seafood, so I'm just, like, bouncing off you. In our like grocery <laughs> stores. Honestly, that's a stupid question. Of course they sell tuna. Of course they sell tuna. Scratch that, okay, guys? You, can, you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> Wait, that was are so you sure that they probably, s- but they probably sell do sell it, right? Yeah. I mean, I assume they sell everything. Yeah. Damn, that was so stupid of me, bro. <laughs> I this is that UCLA education. Dude, that happens sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'll say something, I'm like, how do I have I was like, damn. High education. Yeah, I'm like... Man, that was like very not smart. No, no, not smart. It happens. It's called brain fart, dude. Yeah, it was a brain fart, guys. Blame it on the brain fart, okay? Um, and when you were talking about your brother, it like it reminded me. <coughs> I also get irritated with my siblings. Like, I feel like there's a sibling irritation that no one understands. Like, I feel like I'm usually like fine with them. Yeah. But they just do certain things that will trigger me. F- and for <laughs> me, my sisters is when she's. I hate this. <laughs> when she sprays perfume, fresh and stands next to me i it pierces my nose i i hate perfume smells so for me it's like if i'm spraying my perfume like especially even if it's like here i'm spraying my perfume and i'm leaving i will dart out like immediately i don't like to be in enclosed space with fumes and it's not even like incense it's not essential oils that like, it's like run- very strong yeah, scent. It's like roses like but like fragrance and super sharp and like every time she would spray her perfume and just come as a ball of fumes next to me i'd be like please <laughs> go take a shower <laughs> i'd be like please don't stand next to me it, and it, and the, f- i don't know if it's like y- for you but for our culture like cologne and perfume oh they drench it 
Oh my god! Yes. And to be a person who doesn't like those smells to like really strong and just constantly be in a house where like your mom like everyone when we would go out together like if we had a family event oh my god it'd be like swimming in fumes like it'd be like cologne perfume perfume i i literally would stand outside and just like wait for <laughs> no way yeah I, i'm the opposite i love that yeah. i love strong scents i can't i like strong natural scents i mm-hmm. see like I essential see. oils like my diffuser will be like five drops up like 10 <laughs> like you know what i mean yeah. I, I like that but when it's like it's like too much yeah you ever go like perfume really. sniffing and your nose starts hurting no maybe mm-hmm. Maybe I have a nose problem. Maybe. Like, if I sniff too many n- things, like, I, like, need a moment. Like, maybe I'll it's, like, sensor overload. Like, you're sensitive with the nose. Yeah, maybe. A lot of people are sensitive with, like, ears. So loud things, like, hurt them. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's crazy. Wait, that's actually might be it. It's a gift. I do think I could sniff like a dog. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> what? She was like, what the hell am I supposed to say to that? She's like... <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> that, that was so funny. She was trying to be supportive, but at the same time, I was like, what the fuck <laughs> is she saying even? I appreciate it, though. Of course, bro. I'll support you <laughs> and your strange... <laughs> My strange addiction. <laughs> I used to love that show. Mm-hmm. I've never watched it. You but I've heard... Not. I The one thing that I remember is I saw like this clip about this guy who was obsessed with his car. And he would like, make love to his car. <laughs> <laughs> so I I've never watched a show, but I saw a clip on social media. I was like, oh that's my god! Weird. I saw this girl who would eat couch cushions. What? Yes, like she would. How is she alive? I think she died. Oh. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> no, wait. I don't know if she did. I'm under the assumption that she would. <laughs> like, I don't think you could live eating something like that. Why? Why? Oh, I thought you were saying why wouldn't she live? No, I'm like, I'm like a lot why would you eat couch cushions? Yeah. Like. But I've seen a lot of people being in love with inanimate objects. The fuck is wrong with people, bro? Yeah. Oh, man, sometimes I just want to. Sometimes I'm like, I don't think I like when you see things like that. Like, I'm just like that. Where did where was the error? Where where was the mistake that they what fucked line? their car yeah. engine? That's what the mental institute now, <laughs> please. <laughs> Please <laughs> go get help, bro. If you're literally fucking your no. Also, I apologize if I'm, I'm cussing a lot. It's just I'm de- I've been deprived of it. <laughs> Wait, what happened? What do you mean? I don't know. I haven't like really talked to people, so it's like <laughs> I like sometimes go really antisocial and I like literally don't talk to anyone. My gym was empty today, a little bit. Empty? Isn't your gym honestly always empty? Yeah, but like sometimes there's a person. A person? That's so juicy. Oh, you're sad. No, I <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I love being alone. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I thrive. <laughs> Loneliness is my strength. No, I do. I do really like. I really like being alone, to be honest. But yeah, I feel like I'm tired. Me. I feel like you just need to switch up my gym. I would never ditch you. Um, my gym. I would never ditch you. I love the emptiness. But she's thinking about it. But I just want another. I want a second membership to a public gym, just so I could like be around people where would you go equinox yeah because there's less creeps i'd rather pay a little bit more and not be around creeps yeah yeah i wonder if they would let you record though <coughs> no i would like i feel like the private gym that i go to now would be my gym for content and then the other gym that i would go to would be the gym that i just go to work out and no no distractions yeah no phone no social media just go there grind and yeah. then go to my second gym just for content yeah i feel like that's the life I think I I think I solved my crisis. Yeah, and Equinox is really really nice. <coughs> yeah, I haven't had a membership, but I've been, and it just so. Would so you Would you get a membership? Um, I I wouldn't. I, I really like my gym that I go to. I don't mind it at all, and That's I think good. it's perfect. Like it, it's clean relatively. Like it's not. I've never found it like dirty, and they let me record. At That's least good. Sometimes they're really weird about it, but most of the time they let me record, so okay. it's just perfect. That's lit. That's but lit. maybe if we all move together, we could do Equinox. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking about the recording. I keep oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's just, like, what I want to do, what I want to do. But honestly, if we move in together, I think I'd be more, like, open to the fact of c- joining a private gym and stuff. Like in public? Yeah, public gym, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, maybe recording in a public gym. I think I'd be more comfortable because you guys are there. Oh. Dude, I would I would fight and protect. 
She protects you. Attack. She, <laughs> she have your back. <laughs> that was so cute. No, I I would. She I'm ready to swing. Me. No, honestly. Also, with three, I feel like it be, it creates this um, just natural like force field. Yeah. Like people probably wouldn't really do anything. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. can o- honestly wrap it up. Do you want to? It'd be like forty minutes. Yeah. Honestly, I'm I'm I want to stop being a pussy though. Like I need to get out there more. Like on God. For honestly, who I am I? You know what? I feel like after graduation really messed me up, bro. <laughs> Wait, college graduation? Why? Because of COVID? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I wasn't like this before, bro. I used to go out all the time. I used to be social, but I feel like after like COVID and stuff, like people became really paranoid, like stuck in the home, and I think COVID really messed me up. Yeah, me too. Though I think. Yeah. No, this Nona got to die. She's over. We got we got rebirth in you, no. So let's get you in a public gym. <coughs> no, bitch, not that. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you mean? Wait. Like I need to like just go out. I'm really obsessed. Like I feel like I've gotten to the point that I'm so comfortable being alone that I don't have the urge to go out. Yeah. You know what I mean? You too, right? Yeah. Like you don't have the urge. Like I'm just like okay. Here's like, what I, I forget. Think. If you're gonna to go out. What are you gonna do? Eat. But I don't want to do that. Yeah. Or, like, I think when I think going out, <clears throat> I think social events. Like, I think, okay, I, like when people say, oh, I want to go out, I think, okay, like, what are my options? Like, what, a club? I don't like clubs. I'm not going to do it. Hey, bar. That's boring. Boring. Yeah. But I like juiceries. Like, let's go to a juicery. Let's yeah. go to a acai bowl. Yeah. Baby. Let's you know? do it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, when we live together, that stuff's going to be... That's, I yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, and we probably would plan, like, I could... I would love mini trips, like, uh, us going out. Like, we would just go to Palm Springs. Yes, Big Bear and stuff like that. Yeah, like, w- and, like, stay in a little cute little cabin. Literally, literally, all the time, bro. Oh, my God, Go yeah. snowboarding. Like, that, that's I, the life. Oh, my God, don't even play with me. Yeah. You want to plan a trip? Like, I know that, like, what you said, we're going to... Yeah. Let's do it. Let's just plan it. No. After this? I'm 100% down. I think first we should go to Texas for offline. Why not? Before she comes out here. Wait, what happened? What happened? You can't? No, I mean, it's just like so like influencer-y. Oh, yeah. Are you nervous? Is that why? I do it. Yeah. I'm down, honestly. Who the fuck? Up? What the? What the hell? What the hell? Look, this is like when the antisocial Nona comes out. That's what I'm saying. Like, I kicked no. in a second. That's I'm okay, like, no. but we don't have to go there first. Maybe we can do, she can come out here. We can take a trip. No, let's go to Bali. And then we can go to Texas. Yeah. Oh my god, but we just have to get that place. I'm gonna. I n- we. N- I want it. I want it too, bro. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I'm down. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I was gonna. I was gonna pause it. Okay. No, continue. No, uh, no, continue. You know how people have like, like. I don't know. I saw like Nikita Dragon do it, but like I was like thinking about it, but then I saw her do it. But you know, how she did like this funeral for her past self. She did this did funeral for her past self, and she's like, she's like, "This is the new Nikita." You know, I kind of want to do that for me, but mentally, like, <laughs> this girl, she's done. Okay, what do you want to change about yourself besides the antisocialness? My antisocialness. That's it. Yeah, like I'm really comfortable with being alone, and I feel like it's a it's a it's a strength to be comfortable with being alone and enjoying your own time. But like, honestly, like I need to like remind myself that we are social humans and. Because we're social humans, it's healthy to be going out with your friends and stuff. So I'm going to start going out more. You should. Yeah. You should. You 100% should. Because I do I agree. We were made to be social. Yeah, we're, we're made to be social. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force myself to be the social nona that I used to be. I'm going to bring that back. Okay, I'm, I'm going to challenge you. Challenge me. I need it. I'm going to challenge you. Yes. Every now and then I'm just going to be like, hey... Like, we're, we're doing this. I don't know. We're, okay. we're doing something. I'm going to do it. I'm done. Uh, can I challenge you back, too? Okay, let's do okay. it. Okay. Okay, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, I'm down. We can do... Th- honestly, there's... Th- if at the very least, like, we should live together. We don't do that enough. What do you, oh, I, I thought you said we should live together. I was like, girl, we're already in yeah, the process. No. Live t- yeah, honestly, yeah. When was the last time we, fuck- we like, went to gym? It's been a while. It's, it's been plan. a while. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. To get it down. To get it down. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm also down for snowboarding. <gasps> Say less. My brother went to Big Bear today, and I was like, "Why haven't I been? Why haven't should, I?" But you should have went with him. You want to go? He's at Big Bear. Or you want to go to Big Bear? I'm down. No, like Bear. let's put, plan a trip. Like Elena could come over here, and we could just go. Yeah, Big Bear's super easy to go to. It's like three hours away, bro. It's right here. Even yeah. even a day trip, bro. 
and still but I want to stay there. Tour. Like it's fun. Yeah, it'd be cute to have a little cabin. Yeah, or mammoth. I love mammoth. I don't know how to snowboard, but I like falling my butt and acting. I've like actually never been, so I want to. Oh go. my god, we could all fall down together, bro! <laughs> that would be so cute. Yeah, I think it'd be such a fun experience. I like sports, so I know that I would yeah. probably like snowboarding. I remember this one time. I think it was like my very first time that I went snowboarding, or my second time, and my friend tricked me, and then <laughs> she took. And I'm a beginner. I like, literally never ever snowboarded. She took me on Black Diamond. And then what is that? It's like the toughest. Like you have to be advanced to like be on it. Steep hill. Yeah, yeah and yeah. like bro, like we were on the thingy. She was like, "Oh, I'm taking you to the bunny slope, which is like the beginners." Oh my god, this reminds me of Club Penguin. Did you play? It used to like okay. a really long time ago. But it just keep going and then keep going. We sat on the lift, right? I don't know what they call it, ski lift or whatever. Sat on the lift. It kept on going up, and then I saw my life flash below my. I turned around and I was like. You lied to me. And she's like, no, like this is it. Girl, I could not see the like the end of the mountain. We were so up high. And then <laughs> This sounds scary. I was but then I was like, you know what? This is how I learned how to swim. I remember the first time I learned how to swim. My uncle just threw me in the <laughs> deep end and I just learned how to survive. I feel like I have so much trouble. My dad <laughs> did that. And then that's the only way that you learn is like just to get yourself in this situation and just be like, ah, you know yeah so yeah i went on black diamond and then like literally bro i was on my butt sliding down <laughs> the entire way down and the amount of people that came by and they're like are you okay <laughs> you're like i'm just going I'm, like, I'm good like what you talking about and it was just so funny because like people thought that i got injured or something like that but it's just like no ma'am you were too scared um, to I'm stand just up too scared to stand up but then i would and would <laughs> And then, like, when, <laughs> I would, when I would stand up, bro, I ate it, bro. <laughs> like, Is I it really steep? Yeah. <laughs> and then I would, I would pick up speed. I would be going really fast. And then, like, m- the front part of the thing, <laughs> the, the front part of my snowboard would get stuck in the snow. And I just would flip, <laughs> like, face forward and face plant into the no, snow. No. <laughs> I swear. And then I would, like, Pull back <laughs> like this. No, and then no. I would be like, hee, <laughs> like down the down <laughs> mountainside. I can imagine Nona literally like just tumbling down a fucking mountain. And I was like, man, thank God that I have these big like goggles and face masks because this <laughs> is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Are there trees on your slope? There were trees on my slope. So like you just don't crash into them? Yeah. It's hard. But isn't that hard? Like, as someone like you, like, that's what I worry about. Like, <laughs> I feel like I would just go straight into a I had battle tree. scars that day. Yeah. <laughs> so you did? Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, it was fun. I would do it again. Yeah. No, maybe I wouldn't do it again. But I'm glad for that memory. Like, that's a memory, and I love it. I'm here for it. Maybe not Black Diamond, but you would do the other ones? Or I'd do Black Diamond again. <laughs> I would do it <laughs> you again. You just changed your mind four times <laughs> <laughs> in five seconds. I would do it again, you know? Yeah. It was cool. Like, you're supposed... You know, I I think I told you this before, but I hate being comfortable. I agree. I hate you it. You grow in uncomfortable situations. Yeah. So, because that was such an uncomfortable situation for me, I thoroughly enjoyed every single second even though every single second of it was a huge struggle for me but i lo- uh well thank you guys episode six right mm-hmm. all right well thank you guys for listening and tuning into episode six of mu- episode six of muscle mommies uh we love you guys and want a takeaway from this episode would probably be to always um love yourself as you are and not really spend a lot of time comparing to others uh because the things that you're struggling with so is everyone else uh and don't think you're you're any different or any less because you have insecurities exactly and remember that life's hard for everyone so it's it's good to be kind to everyone too right kindness goes a long way 100% 100% consider that they're probably going through some things too. Exactly. We love you so much and we can't wait until we talk next time. We love you. Bye. Bye.